Casey Clarkson, a determined single mother facing financial challenges, aspired to provide her daughter with an unforgettable graduation gift. With the goal of finding something truly special, she stepped into the upscale designer store located in the heart of the city. As Casey entered, the ambience shifted. Whispers and judgmental glances accompanied her as she explored the opulent displays, remaining undaunted by the scrutiny. A haughty sales representative approached Casey, condescendingly asserting that the store was reserved for an elite clientele. Undeterred, Casey persisted in her exploration, driven by the determination to make her daughter's graduation truly exceptional. While examining the exquisite items, Casey overheard the sales representative ridiculing her to a colleague. The sting of humiliation was palpable, yet she persevered, resolved to demonstrate that everyone, regardless of their background, deserved a taste of elegance. When Casey inquired about examining a beautiful handbag that she knew her daughter would adore, the response she received from the salesperson fell short of her expectations. Casey's only desire was to treat her daughter for the exceptional grades she had achieved. With graduation approaching and college on the horizon, Casey believed her daughter deserved this special handbag. Nevertheless, there were individuals who seemed to disagree. Wasn't this store interested in her money? Was it not sufficient? Casey found herself perplexed by the unwarranted attitude she encountered in the store. Why were they staring at her, as if she were a creature from another planet? What had she done to warrant such mistreatment? Casey worked in the hospitality industry, and she knew how to treat clients, especially if they were going to be spending a hefty amount of money. But why wasn't she getting the same treatment? In her line of work, she was told to treat everyone with respect, no matter what they looked like. She was surprised that she wasn't getting a kind look from these sales reps. Casey knew something that none of them did. Casey, a devoted single mother, cared deeply for her 18-year-old daughter, Callie. In their tight-knit duo, Casey worked tirelessly to provide nothing but the best for her daughter. As Callie approached high school graduation, both Casey and Callie had already made the exciting decision about the college she would be attending. Callie, a brilliant and dedicated young woman, filled her mother, Casey, with immense pride. As a consistent straight -a student, Kali had earned several scholarships, showcasing her commitment to academic excellence. Casey cherished the fact that she couldn't have asked for a more exceptional daughter. Kali's studious nature and determination were evident as she kept her focus on her studies. Recognizing Kali's accomplishments, Casey believed her daughter truly deserved something extraordinary. Having diligently saved up, Casey was ready to bestow a surprise gift upon Kali in celebration of her remarkable achievements. With Kali's high school prom on the horizon and her dress already secured, Casey aimed to express her appreciation for her daughter's resilience in the face of life's challenges. Casey had a specific item in mind, eager to make the occasion even more memorable for Kali. Navigating her way through the mall, Casey directed her steps toward the section known as the Millionaire's Mile. This part of the mall housed exclusive designer shops a realm Casey usually avoided due to budget constraints. However, on this occasion, she had a purpose in mind. Little did she anticipate the treatment that awaited her. Upon entering the store, Casey was met with stares, and there was a conspicuous absence of greetings. Uncomfortable as the atmosphere was, she reminded herself of her purpose there to find the perfect gift for her daughter. Despite the disapproving glances, she pressed on, determined to make a purchase that would bring joy to her daughter's special day. No one came to ask if she needed help. She looked around the store, and when she did, everyone avoided her gaze. It was like she had done something wrong. While browsing a little more, Casey had finally come across the item that she wanted to purchase. It was a gorgeous black leather handbag, and Casey knew that Callie would love it. All the items in the store were locked in glass display cabinets, so if you wanted to have a look at anything, you would have to ask the salesperson. This was the part that Casey dreaded. How was she going to get any of their attention if none of them wanted to look at her? She managed to loudly clear her throat until one of the salespeople looked at her. Casey waved her hand, and the woman came over to her. Can I help you with something? The woman hardly looked Casey in the eyes. She was trying her best to avoid looking at her. Yes, I would like to have a look at that beautiful black handbag. Please, it was then that Casey noticed the look of annoyance on the woman's face. She stared blankly at Casey before saying, Sorry, but I can't do that. Casey was left very confused by her statement. What was the reason for the salesperson not wanting to show Casey the handbag? Casey couldn't take any more of this strange attitude. She was getting fed up, 
Um, is there a reason why you can't show me the handbag? It was then that Casey heard the ridiculous reason why. We only take the items out if you are serious about buying the item, Ma I am. By the looks of things, I don't think you are Casey's eyes widened in disbelief. She couldn't believe the audacity of this woman. She had already walked away before Casey could say anything. This was unacceptable behavior. She had a good mind to leave, but they had no idea that she had the upper hand. Casey stood there dumbfounded. The staff had basically ignored her since she entered the store, and now they were refusing to show her the handbag she wanted to buy. They had shown nothing but rudeness, and they were not willing to help her at all. What did she have to do to make them treat her with some respect? If only they knew what Casey had up her sleeve. After a few minutes of browsing, Casey now knew that these salespeople had a problem with her being there. She had no idea why, but it could have been because she had come in there wearing her work uniform. She supposed they were used to seeing a specific type of person come into their store. However, that didn't make it right to judge her by the way she looked. That also meant that they automatically assumed that there was no way that Casey could afford the bag that she wanted to look at. This infuriated her, and she decided to give them one last chance to help her. Excuse me, miss. I've been standing here trying to get help from one of you for some time now, but with no luck whatsoever. Now, could you please remove this handbag from the display cabinet for me to look at it, or do I have to cause a scene? The staff looked at Casey like she was a woman gone mad. Excuse me, but could you please leave this store before we call security? We will not be threatened by the likes of you. That was when Casey decided to pull out her trump card. She rummaged through her bag and whipped out her phone. The staff didn't know what was about to happen. Casey made a quick call and waited. The staff were staring at her very rudely, and they looked like they couldn't wait to get rid of her. However, what they didn't know was that Casey would be leaving the store, but she wasn't going to leave without that handbag. Things were about to get very heated for all parties involved. Before the staff members of the store could even call security, a well-dressed man stepped into the store. The salespeople all but fell over themselves trying to help him. He was dressed immaculately, wearing a suit and tie, and the salespeople seemed to know who he was. They kept addressing him as sir, they had no idea what was about to happen. They all spoke to him in a respectful way, nothing like the way they addressed Casey. Then he walked up to Casey, smiled and said, have any of you helped my dear friend Casey over here yet? She seems to want to buy something and she hasn't received any help. What's going on in my store? Casey just smiled. She hadn't wanted it to come to this, but what could she do? As soon as they heard what the man had said, they scrambled over themselves, trying to help Casey, but it was too late. Mr. Bates, I've been here for a whole 30 minutes, and none of them wanted to help me. In fact, they were very rude and didn't think that someone like me could afford the items in this store. Mr. Bates looked at Casey with a mix of disappointment and anger. He turned to the staff and said, Is this how we treat our customers? Regardless of their appearance or background, everyone deserves respect and assistance in our store. Now, show this woman the handbag she wants and any other items she might be interested in. I'll be watching. The salespeople, now trembling with fear, rushed to comply with Mr. Bates's orders. Casey felt a sense of satisfaction, knowing that she had turned the tables on those who had treated her so poorly. As she examined the handbag, Mr. Bates approached her discreetly. I sincerely apologize for the unacceptable behavior you've experienced in my store, M.S. Clarkson, he whispered. This is not the standard we uphold. Please accept my apologies, and I assure you we will take immediate action to rectify this situation. Casey nodded, appreciating the apology, but still holding a glint of defiance in her eyes. Mr. Bates continued, as a token of our sincere regret, please consider the handbag a gift from the store. I hope Kali enjoys it. Casey couldn't believe her ears. The same store that had treated her with disdain was now offering her a designer handbag as a gift. She fought back tears of triumph, grateful that she had stood her ground. The tables had turned, and Casey felt a surge of empowerment. As the staff continued assisting her, Casey couldn't help but notice their changed demeanor. They were now courteous and attentive, realizing the gravity of their earlier actions. The whispers of other shoppers, who had witnessed the drama, added to the store's embarrassment. Words spread quickly through the store about Mr. Bates' intervention and the staff's behavior became a topic of hushed conversations among the customers. The incident served as a lesson for everyone present that day, a lesson about not judging others based on appearances. Casey left the store with the designer handbag, 
her head held high and a newfound sense of pride. She had not only secured a special gift for her daughter, but also exposed the store's discriminatory practices. The story didn't end with Casey's exit. It became a catalyst for change in how the store treated its customers. The incident didn't go unnoticed by the media. News outlets picked up the story, shedding light on the discrimination Casey faced. The designer store faced public backlash, and its reputation took a severe hit. Mr. Bates, realizing the gravity of the situation, publicly apologized and pledged to implement diversity and sensitivity training for the entire staff. However, Casey felt sorry for Mr. Bates. She respected him and knew the kind of man that he was. After all, she had worked for him and his hotel for over 20 years. In the following months, Casey saw the designer store transform its policies and practices. The staff underwent more training and the store implemented measures to ensure that every customer, regardless of their background, received the respect they deserved. Casey's experience became a turning point not just for the store but also for her and Callie. The media attention brought unexpected opportunities and Casey found herself receiving job offers from other reputable establishments that valued her experience and work ethic. As for Kali, she graduated with honors and received the surprise handbag from her mother as a symbol of triumph over adversity. The day arrived when Kali, dressed in her graduation gown, walked across the stage to receive her diploma. Casey watched with tears in her eyes, filled with pride for her daughter's achievements. As the ceremony concluded, Mr. Bates made a surprise appearance. He handed Callie a beautifully wrapped gift. Inside the package was a stunning pair of heels, matching the handbag Casey received months ago. Callie's eyes widened with surprise and delight. Mr. Bates smiled and said, Congratulations, Callie. This is a token of appreciation for your hard work and success. You deserve the best.